Arts Center, John Meekix Gallery, is jointly programmed by the Prince Albert Council for the Arts uh, and the Mount Gallery. And my name is Laura Wilson, and I have the great pleasure to be the acting director curator uh, of the Mount Art Gallery. And we're located in the A. Robinson Center. It's just a couple of blocks that way. And this space was where the Mount Art Gallery started out over 40 years ago when it was called the Little Gallery. And so that's why we have this great link uh, to this space. So we do want to make sure that we acknowledge that here in Prince Albert, we are on Treaty 6 territory. This is also the homeland of the Métis Nation. This is traditional territory of the Cree, but also unceded Dakota territory. And so we're mindful of the relationships that we have a chance to foster uh, with those groups and be inspired by and hear the powerful voices of all the people who have come here before us um, and who have been land and continue to contribute to our understandings of this land of all of our people uh, and our place in history. So wonderful that you could all join us uh, here today um, for this exhibition. So of course many of this might be you all know it is Maria Hersey. It's funny, I, I am the one who does not know all of you and yet you all know Maria. <laughs>
And for me, one of the things that, uh, for us, as we work through our term in the Lieutenant Governor's office, is to really talk about reconciliation and what that means. I mean, the acknowledgement of lands and peoples and occupying this territory for anybody else is important. It's an important part of that reconciliation. And it's not about moving people away or giving people language, it's about creating a broader understanding. And certainly that's important as well. And to your family, I mean, that's so important to have them here. You know, we've always supported our children and what they do, and you know, stay here, and new members of our family, and uh, just just uh, so grateful to see so many of your family members here to support you, to see, you know, to uh, be a part of this special day. And I also want to acknowledge Melanie, I know that she's uh, a mentor for you, and certainly uh, through her own work, her hard work and her support, I think that's uh, certainly something that I was going to say you should take advantage of the calorie are in a way that it's a more you know, uh, symbiotic kind of relationship with it at some point. You find that you support people, but all of a sudden at some point without you knowing it, you know, support goes both ways. So I'm going to acknowledge you, Melanie, for, for your support. Then I guess finally, for, uh, again, for the gallery, for supporting local artists, but in this case, obviously, in Korea, and to make sure that her work is displayed for the public to, to enjoy. So thank you for, for doing that. And finally, you know, as the representative of the Queen here in Saskatchewan, it's customary for me to bring greetings on behalf of the Queen. I want to do that, but I don't do it in my own language of Cree, because it's, it's something that I started to do when I took office. Partly because I wanted to bring something different into this office that really is based on traditions that are literally hundreds of years old, if not centuries and centuries, that were brought here through the British and by the British. But I think when we talk about reconciliation and understanding, I'm, I'm a person, a First Nations person, that's brought into this role, and it was important for me and for Donna as well to bring part of ourselves into this office. And part of that was wearing moccasins to my official installation, which was never done at the legislature. And on a more personal note, I started to go out and interact with people and talk about reconciliation and other things. And it occurred to me that why couldn't I bring that reading from Her Majesty and Creed? So I'll do that now. The Melody Dennis, the Peter Doctor Rock, the Miscanto, I'll translate it. It gives me great pleasure today to bring you greetings. He gave Toby Master a note from our Queen Elizabeth II. He gave Toby Master a note, our Queen, who take a dusky note, Canada, here in our land of Canada. So thank you again for the invitation and, and all the best in your future. I know you've got things planned and things will be challenging because of what's going on, but I know you'll do very well. Thank you. 
that. So thank you so much for sharing this wonderful work with us and for being so brave. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs>
yourself hold on to what you don't don't hold things in because that you're never gonna let them go. You just never will. So I'm just letting things go. <laughs> this class. 
collection, this was all you, and it's, it's, I'm distanced from it, but for you to be there with a video, or for you to be there in the classroom, for you to be there with continued education here at Prince Albert as you go into university, I mean, this is, it's meant to be, and we're so excited that your personal voice will bring the sort of reference of this collection and the real validity of what you've created. That's the power, not somebody just talking about you're creating it, you're the creator of this. And, you know, I just wanted to say too that um, I've really seen such a huge part of your family as part of this collection. Would you like to kind of mention how family really did intertwine kind of constantly through something we, we talked about many, many times, just the importance of family? Yeah, yeah. yeah so my family has always been like um, the people that I want to impress the most and the people who I'm trying to include in my life. I'm always doing like what I think is the most to like uh, belong because I felt so separated and that was my own doing but I just felt so secluded from my family and that was not anything to do with them and now talking about like what those feelings are makes me realize and you can see it from a different perspective like okay that was just me no one said that to me I just I just thought this certain thing because of other outside voices that I can hear in the media and what I think people think of me. I, yeah. And uh, like one thing to mention too is just like like Creelin. Um, so she's your cousin. She she would help you as you were creating this, you know. And, she, and I remember you saying, I don't even know for sure if she knows exactly what I'm doing. But she's like, I'll help. Like, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. 
Maria, she had a vision and it was very strong. And Maria, although this is amazing, you're not the only one. We have had probably five or six people continue to create successful collections. Not necessarily rising to, to this level, eventually maybe, and you know, we obviously support them, but who finished collections? So, you know, there's always some stumbling blocks, right? So these people would come and say, and sometimes it was maybe just time put in because it's very, even though this, you created some of these quite quickly, maybe you can talk about how comprehensive it actually was. Like, yeah. you know, to create this, there have been hundreds of hours mm -hmm. in this collection. Yeah, so the first while I had the backgrounds for all these paintings, and then it was like two days left, and I couldn't paint anything because every time I did, it would look horrible and then I'd come right up again and be like, okay, starting fresh and then one day I had like all the, this anger for just not being able to do it. And then I grabbed like my cousin and I was like, okay, look, let's go to the school, let's do this. And then we sang and we screamed and we were in this play studio and we were like pretending to be opera singers. It was really fun. And it just opened my mind. And then <laughs>
light, and all of us know that in the room. And lastly, what makes that so special, I've said this, is that your light goes on to impact so many others. It's not just you experiencing that light, just basking in it. You're so quick to exchange it and turn it over. And to have a heart like that so young is you're an old soul. You obviously have family around you that has supported you and cultivated that inside of you, but it is so rare. And we thank you for that light. We thank you for creating this and opening people's eyes. And I just, you know, that special light is going to go off and do amazing, wonderful things as I tell you all. <laughs> so thank you. Thank you.